Now to more breaking news, this from Mount Dora, where police say a teenage brother and sister are facing battery charges for shooting at people in the downtown area with a BB gun. And as West Chew's Amanda Dukes reports, it was actually their parents who turned them in. This is the airsoft BB gun Mount Dora police say was used to shoot two pedestrians downtown last Friday night. She goes, somebody just shot or ran down the road and shot me with a BB gun out of a car. And I was like, are you serious? Erin Fullencamp says her 63-year-old mom was a victim. She got hit right in between her eyes. Fullencamp's mom was stunned but not seriously harmed. Police released a photo of this blue Honda and were actively searching for the suspects until today. A parent reached out to us today and said, uh, my son and daughter, you want to come and talk to them. Interim Police Chief Michael Gibson says a 13-year-old girl and her 17-year-old brother admitted to the shootings and told detectives they were just out having fun. Camp says kids need to realize shooting at anyone is dangerous business. In the day and age that we're living in and with everything that's going on in our country right now, shooting people with a BB gun outside of a car is probably not the wisest choice to make. A second airsoft BB gun shooting occurred Saturday night on Eudora Road. Police say that victim was hit in the leg and near the eye. Investigators believe the suspect in that shooting was driving this red car and say the incident is not connected to the downtown shootings. These airsoft BB guns look like a kid's toy and you can buy them almost anywhere. But the police chief stresses the plastic pellets not only sting, but they could do enough damage to someone that the shooter could end up in jail. This is serious business. You could hurt someone for life. The two teens face charges of battery while the search for a suspect in the Eudora Road shooting continues. In Lake County, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.